Good morning, everyone. Um, the last few days I worked on um, trend charts for the OpenMS landing page. Um, this is what I've done. Um, it's it, it used the uh, jQuery Sparkline um, library for inline graphs and um, the data is pulled out of OpenMS um, via JDBC so you can define um, um, yeah, these trend definitions you can choose a title, a subtitle uh, whether or not it is, it is visible on the landing page. Um, you can define the icon and you can set all the options that the library provides for um, coloring and so on. And below you can also set a link and a link description and of course the query itself. So Um, I've created some sample things, node without edges, I think it's clear. Uh, the severity distribution, all based on the last 24 hours. Um, the occurrence of alarms, also uh, at, which, uh, at which time slot how many alarms occurred or auditors occurred. Um, how many alarms are unacknowledged, how many ongoing uh, auditors and um, problems based on uh, business service problems. Um, it's also accessible on the status page. Wow. Um, yeah, there you have a three column layout. Um, also, I added some. Yeah, JSP snippets. If you want to include a single um, trend box, for example, on the left side, you can include a JSP file uh, and you have only to give the parameter name for the name of the definition and you have the box where you want it. Um, if you want to play with it, um, it's all documented in the Administrator's guide. What's the basic layout of a of a trend box? How it's defined, and you can also use in the description, title, and um, subtitle field uh, variables. For example, the the last value. Um, yeah, or you can also um, you can also you have also an array of the values you can get the tenth or eleventh value and the last and the uh, value changes are also available so if you want to uh, output a plus one or minus one or something like that yeah that's basically it any questions <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.